let's start uh, the seminar uh, following the Bulgarian wall uh, if somebody uh, becomes a, a full professor or associate professor the person has to present a talk and this is the case uh, um, a couple of weeks ago uh, the scientific council uh, elected a speaker uh, Peter Danchi for associate professor and now he has the talk on the occasion. Okay, please. Thank you. Please welcome to my invited lecture. Uh, the title is Commutative Group Rings and Abelian Groups. My first My first slide is in commutative group rings. I consider an important paper published in the Proceedings of the American Mathematical Society by Warren May, who asked it of whether or not the commutative group algebra over an unitary ring of prime characteristic determines this isomorphism class of the torsion P component of the group G whenever its P component is totally projective. I resolve this problem in the positive for direct sums of countable groups. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you should share the screen because we cannot, we see you, we don't see um, the slides. I have shared it. Now, do you see? No. Значи бутона share screen долу, зеления бутон. Да, аз съм го натиснал. Штракни и ще се появят няколко прозорци, след които един е този, в който ти е презентацията. А, сега май нещо става. Да, сега вече ще виждаме слайдовете. Продължава. To start again. Сега се виждат слайдовете ти. Комутативни групови пръстени и така нататък. Вече чуваш ли се? Да. I resolve this problem in the positive for direct sums of countable groups, which sums of countable length, specifically the following holes. Let A be a commutative unit of ring of prime characteristic P and G an abelian group whose P component GP is a torsion is a totally projective of countable length. Now, if H is an arbitrary group such that two group algebras, LH and LG, are isomorphic as L algebras, then their P components, HP and GP, are isomorphic. In the proof, I use a criterion due to Linton and Medjiban, uh, which criterion uh, extends. Uh, a classical criterion by Mejiban uh, about uh, the commutative uh, group rings of prime characteristic. This criterion says that we can have a countable union and groups, H of S is bounded by some ordinal, then the uh, whole group is the, uh, uh, can be presented as the countable union of such pair components, H of each is bounded by some ordinal alpha. In the proof, I also use some results about uh, commutative group rings. Uh, uh, my criterion uh, also extends some other results in this way. And the proof involves uh, some uh, results about uh, abelian groups, uh, set theory, and uh, some uh, results on the ordinary, uh, 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 ordinary groups. Now, I would like, I would like to begin with my other results about commutative group rings. These results extends a classical, uh, uh, resolve a classical question by Gregory Karpilowski, 
when H normally is a unit in the group ring is, genera is, gener is generated by the idempotence effect at argumentation one with basis from the whole group G. I settled this problem provided G contains at least one P component in which the prime inverts in the rig L. Some notions are given at the beginning of this sheet as the supremum of G and, and the invariant of L as double primes for which P by one is an invertible unit. My result states that suppose G is a non-trivial abelian group and L is a commutative ring, unitary ring, such that this condition is satisfied, then the group of normalized units is the impotent group if and only if the following conditions are satisfied. Either G has two elements and for every L in the ring L, we have the following conditions. Vapity 2 uh, L mi minus 1 is an invertible element exactly when L is idempotent. Or G has three elements and for every pair LF in the Descartes product, the following condition is satisfied. In particular, L and F are orthogonal idempotents. My next result is a description of the divisible divisible groups of the maximal of the maximal divisible groups of the normalized unit group of the group ring that when this maximal divisible subgroup is when this maximal divisible subgroup contains a pair component of torsion. The following explicit formula is valid for the divisible part. Suppose J is an abelian group whose torsion part is a P group and F is a perfect field of non-zero characteristic P. Then the following equality holds. This formula gives an explicit, explicit description of the maximal divisible subgroups in terms of the maximal divisible group of the basis J and the pair component of torsion, maxim, the maximal divisible group of the pair component of torsion Vp, where Gd, Gd, G of power D, is the maximal pair divisible subgroup of J. In the proof of this result, I use some preliminary sta uh, statements from group theory and from ring theory, and especially I have deduce the formula for which a maximal divisible subgroup can be expressed as sum of elements of the ESPET torsion components. Then the proof reduced to the P component because each other Q components when Q is different from P are zero. This is my third result. My next result, again, on, on commutative group rings, is about the result of Simeon Brees and Andrade Chimpeyan in the Bulletin of the Korean Mathematical Society and is devoted to the class of weakly tripotent rings. A ring is weakly tripotent if each element of the ring satisfies one of the at most one of the pay identities eight, uh, one of the, the post components x theta x of, of degree 4 uh, so contain x of degree 4 coincides with the sum element or one, min, 1 minus x of degree 3 coincides with the sum element. The rings are generally non-commutative. There are some examples about this. 
However, they properly contain the class of so-called strongly invoked rings defined by me in the communication of the Korean Mathematical Society as the purpose as is the construction of special group ring who, uh, which can be expressed as a Boolean ring of elements of more than two elements and the, and the bounded abelian group of exponent two. This group ring uh, shows that the these two class, classes of strongly invoked rings and weakly tripotent rings are different. In fact, strongly invoked rings properly contains the class of weakly tripotent rings. This example shows about this. Exactly this. The construction leads me to the following criterion. This paper is published in the bulletin of the Moldavian Mathematical Society and the criterion, which is a necessary su sufficient condition, states the following. Suppose A is a commutative ring and G is a non-identity abelian group. Then the group ring is weakly tripotent if and only if the group G is bounded by two and A is weakly tripotent having the, the following decomposition. A can be decomposed as two superings where I separately describe these two component, two components. L1, L2. In fact, L1 is either zero or a subdirect problem as two superings, the first of which is either zero or the quotient ring L factorizing it model its Jacobson radical is the two element field and the pair identity Y of degree two um, equal to two Y is uh, valid for any element Y belonging to the Jacobson radical of L. And the second term, Fv, is either zero or a subdirect product of copies of the free element field Z3, or is a Z3, or is a single copy of Z3. And precisely one of the next two points are valid. The group J has only two elements, and the following pair identity holds for the elements in L. In particular, L has characteristic four, or J has strictly more than two elements, thus it can uh, it can be uh, an affine group, and L has characteristic exactly two. This is the criterion about when this group ring is weakly tripotent. In particular, I can deduce the construction which, has, which were, I meant, mentioned earlier on the group rings when B is a Boolean ring of more than two elements and G is a bounded abelian group of exponent B, as exponent two. This finished my results on commutative group rings. Let me record them once again. The first is the result about the conjecture of Warren May in the proceedings of the American Mathematical Society. My next results appears in communication in algebra about a question of Gregory Karpilowski. And the next result appears in uh, Radovi Matematički, one uh, a journal which uh, is published by the Bosnian Herzegovina Academy of Science. And the final result was about the question of Simeon Brice and David Chimpian in the Beauty in Korean Mathematical Society. And is the criterion when a commutative group rings is weakly tripotent.
My next results are about a billion groups. The first result describes when a billion groups having special subgroups and factor groups summable when the original group, the whole group, is summable too. Let me write a classical result of Roger Munke published in Mathematica, it's a Mathematische Zeitschrift, which showed that for any ordinal alpha, if the high group P alpha G and the factor group G modulo P alpha G are totally projective, a billion pair group, what can be said about the whole abelian pair group G? These results of due to Munke is about totally projective groups. My result is about some of the groups whose group class is uh, uh, in parallel to the totally projective groups and has some special, more special properties. These two, do, these, these two group classes are different each other and the class of summable groups is used intensively in the billion group theory. So the result uh, makes some sense and is the following one. Uh, it's published in the uh, French journal, uh, Blaise Pascal, Ad Archives Mathematical Blaise Pascal. In this journal, to state the following. Suppose G is a billion pay group of length not exceeding the third uncountable ordinal. And if these two groups P alpha G and factor group modulo G P alpha G are both summable groups for some ordinal alpha, this uh, ordinal is unrepeatedly, but not exceeding the uncountable ordinal, then the group G is summable too. The conversion crime is uh, already now by uh, Fuchs in his uh, monographs in finite abelian groups. Fuchs have proved uh, the reverse crime, namely, if G is summable, then both P alpha G and factor group G, power, uh, G, power, uh, G model P alpha G are summable too. My goal uh, was to obtain when the reverse implication is true, and I have done this successfully in this theorem. Next result, again by Nobelian groups. It's closely related to Russian uh, question, a uh, question uh, stated by Russian mathematician. Uh, a, a, a reduced abelian P group G is called quasi complete, provides for all pure subgroups P of G. Pure groups uh, are gr uh, subgroups uh, which uh, uh, extends the heights cal calculated both in the whole group and the original subgroup. Let me recall once again, a reduced abelian P group is called quasi-complete, provided that for all pure subgroups, the protein group, which is the first own subgroups of the factor group G modulo P, is always divisible. Divisible means that uh, all uh, equations have solutions same as the subgroup and the original group. These subgroups are separable, that is, they, they not have elements of in infinite height. All the heights are finite. Likewise, a separable abelian P group, G, is said to be a co-group if for all infinite subgroups, A of G, the, cardin the cardinality of the sum first one subgroup does not exceed the cardinality of the subgroup A. Here, so here I use some uh, uh, prelim preliminary results from uh, set theory. 
Let's continue. Also, a separable billion P group G inside to be weekly Aleph 1 separable. Here, for all countable finite, infinite subgroups, so I of G, the cardinality of the sum group is less than or L code equal, equal to the cardinality of A. The following statement is a theorem in ZFC. Sermel, thank you, and continue uh, and uh, axiom of choice. The results is the results are published in Vladikov Kass Mathematical Journal. This is a Russian journal. The results formulate the following. Let G be a quasi-complete abelian P group. Then the following two assertions hold. First part, if G is a Q group, then G is a bonded. That is the intersection of the quasi-complete and Q groups are exactly the bounded groups. Some appears for the weekly alpha and alpha be a separable groups. Part two, if G is a weekly alpha and alpha separable group, then G is bounded again. Resuming the intersections of quasi-complete and co-groups, as well as quasi-complete and weekly alpha and alpha separable groups, are exactly the class of bounded groups. This result answers the question by a Russian mathematician. I have not indicated this in uh, my sheet, but this is a final result, and so he uh, and it resolves 32 questions. My next result. My next result is an extension of classical result of three American mathematicians, Irwin, Snap, and Kittler. They published in the Commentary Mathematici Universitati Sancti Pauli. This is a Japanese journal. The following result. If H is a pure and then subgroup of the separable billion P group G, such that the factor group G model H is at most countable, may, may be fine or if I countable, then G is P omega plus one projective if and only if the sum subgroup H is P must happen P of degree omega plus one projective. Uh, this is a special concept uh, by the homological algebra in abelian groups and can be found in the uh, monographs of Laszlo Fuchs in details. In what follows, I will extend this result considerably by removing the condition on the subgroups to be dense in G. To be dense means that the factor group G model H is divisible. This is a rather restrictive condition, and I remove it. And expanding the statement not only to P of degree omega plus one projective, and to arbitrary P of degree omega plus n projective for any natural number when. The result is published in Czech Journal, Archive der Mathematik Berno, and it states the following. Given a separable abelian P group G with a pure subgroup H, such that the factor group G model H is either a finite or a countably finite factor group, then G is P of degree omega plus n projective if and only if H, the subgroup, H is P of degree omega plus n projective for all natures n. This theorem uh, uses uh, slightly, uh, ne not slightly different, uh, totally different uh, technique uh, for proof uh, than uh, the technique used by Irwin Snap and Kettler. 
some homologi homological aspects of the theory. And uh, was indicated uh, in the recent monograph of Laszlo Fuchs, abelian groups, uh, which appeared soon as a laminar tanchif, as uh, is was uh, used in intensively there in the proofs of some other, other right related results. My next result is about the question of peers in his uh, monograph homomorphism primary abelian groups. Peers ask it that the first peers define a large subgroups of a given abelian P group G to be a fully invariant subgroup. This notion uh, is used in the uh, classical abelian group, not only for abelian groups. And this subgroup, fully invariant subgroup, satisfies the equality L plus B equal to J for every basic subgroup of G. What the basic subgroup mean? This is a subgroup which is a direct sum of cyclic groups and the original group G model of these basic subgroups is always divisible. Kulikov, the Russian mathematician Kulikov, proved that all basic subgroups are isomorphic. That is, we need to use only one basic subgroup in this equation. The form criterion is a connection between a group and the specific properties in large subgroups and they and these groups, these groups can be described in some instances as follows. Let n be an arbitrary nature, a reduce, reduce abelian P group is P of degree omega plus n projective if and only if this group has a large subgroup that is also P of degree omega plus n projective. The result use some uh, technique about, uh, uh, again, uh, from uh, homological theory. Uh, in this published in the proceedings of the Indian Academic of Science. This uh, result is also included in the monograph of Laszlo Fuchs, Abelian Groups. This is the last monograph of Laszlo Fuchs. My next result is a joint result with Ben and Goldschmidt from Dublin Institute of Technology. This result is about projection invariant subgroups. We extend the notion of projection invariant subgroups in the following way. A subgroup S of an abelian P group G is now to be projection invariant in G, provided all projections that's a, that are the idempotent endomorphism in the group. Uh, deserve all properties of the subgroups. That is, acting on the subgroup, we again have a result in the same subgroup. We shall say that the group G is projectively subregular. This is the new notion. If for a projection invariant subgroup, S of G, there exists an ordinal depending on the subgroup, of the choice of the subgroup, such that the circles, the circles of the subgroup and the high subgroups, which has, which I used in my previous considerations, these two circles, circles are equal. The result is the following. He is published in uh, Contemporary Mathematics in Memory, uh, which volume uh, was uh, appeared on uh, Memory of the German Mathematician Rudiger Gabel. Suppose G is an abelian P group, then the next two assertions are true. Part one. 
If G is projectively subregular, then so is the internal direct sum. That is the square G or plus G. This is the called the square in a billion group in and in the ordinary group theory. Part B, a direct summand of projectively socially regular group need not be again projectively socially regular. That is, the group G is not closed about direct sums. Memory, the square J O plus G is projectively socially regular, then the sum group G can not be such a group. That is, the direct factor problem for this class of groups is resolved in the negative. In the proof, we use mm, technique, standard, non-standard technique uh, from abelian groups. We use also some aspects of matrix theory. Since, as is well now, the direct product of two groups, it's endomorphism ring is isomorphic to the matrix rings of two by two matrices of endo whose elements are endomorphism of the groups G in to G. This is my final slide about the results. All results are based on the following papers of mine. The first paper was Proceedings of the American Mathematical Society. This is exactly the result by uh, which resolved the uh, uh, conjecture by Warren May. The next, result, uh, the next paper is uh, Rodman Mathematiczki. My third paper is Instructa Mathematica. This is a um, Spanish journal, Communication in Algebra. Analysis University, Bucharest, Romanian Journal, again extracted mathematic. I have not uh, presented all results from these papers, only selected ones. My next paper is again extracted mathematic, Coach Journal of Mathema, this is a uh, Japanese journal, Co again communication in algebra, two Indish in Indish, uh, Indian journals, Journal Calcutta Mathematical Society and Bulletin Calcutta Mathematical Society. And next papers are in the Romanian Journal, Uzbek Journal, Russian Journal, Tomsk Gosudarsan University, Ural Mathematical Journal, Moldov, Moldov Journal, Bulletin Academy, Republika Moldova. Mathematical Studies, this is an Ukrainian journal. About the papers in the billion groups, the first paper is the Proceedings of the Indian Academic Science. The results with, with, uh, who uh, was indicated by Rastofux. Next uh, paper is, uh, contains the limit of the Archive Mathematical Bernal. Analysis Mathematica, Bles Pascal, Vladikovkas Mathematical Journal, two papers about the Russian questions, and to the final paper, along with Brandon Goldschmidt, in the contemporary mathematics. My further perspectives, which I would like to study, in my next scientific work is to describe the structure. The first question is the inter commutative group rings is to describe the structure of the normal unit group about which I'm talking about of the group ring where L is a perfect ring in a perfect field in particular of prime characteristic and G is a P-mixed well-field group. This is a special uh, a class of uh, abelian groups, which is uh, very large and contains the classes of summable groups and the totally projective groups about I talked before. Next, 
the character is very large class of an alphabetic groups as I have two recent papers but some open question in mind unsolved in these papers and would like to study them again to resolve the questions in, in completely. The first paper is my recent paper in Mediterranean Journal of Mathematics. He is posted uh, recently on the website of the journal. Uh, it's a joint paper with, with Andrei Rostislavovich Chekhov from Tom State University and again Brendan Goldschmidt from Dublin Institute of Technology. This paper is deals with the circles of the fully NL subgroups of abelian p groups. Uh, two open questions remain unsolved in this paper, and I will I would like to delve on them. The next paper is again a recent paper in Forum Mathematicum which will be posted soon on the website. It is again on the circles of characteristic inert subgroups of abelian p groups. These two notions of inert subgroups extend the notion of fully invariant subgroups on which I talked about in my previous slide. And the third paper is again by us, Chichlov, Danchev Goldschmidt. He is, uh, uh, Andrei Chichlov is a professor of mathematics at Tomsk University. Uh, Brendan Goldschmidt is professor at Dublin Institute of Technology. He is recently retired. The paper is a culmination of the previous two papers. He is uh, it is titled, uh, titled uh, Weekly Fully and Characteristic Linear Soccer Regular Abelian Pay Groups and he is just submitted to a scientific journal. Uh, there is no yet result, but let's keep my fingers crossed to be accepted for publication. Thank you, uh, thanks a lot for your attention. This is the end of my lecture. Thank you very much for the speaker, for, for the talk. We understand that this was a presentation why we elected him to be an associate professor. So the topic was um, very close, very close. Talk. Not very standard for a, for a usual seminar talk, but this is a tradition in Bulgaria. Do you have any questions or comments? You can simply ask without uh, raising hand, etc. Simply to, to ask. I cannot see any comments or any questions. Okay. Um, it's the subject is too specific. I'm sorry for that. This is not normal uh, lecture. This is just a uh, invited lecture for associate, associate professor. Okay, let's thank the speaker once again. The next talk will be uh, in eight days on Friday. Um, um, it was an exception that the talk was today because tomorrow um, this is um, and the Good Friday before Orthodox Eastern. So tomorrow is the day off um, in Bulgaria. And uh, um, the next Friday after the, uh, the, uh, this is um, the 7th of, of May, this is the talk will be on the degree of um, the dependence of two events by our colleague Valentini Lev. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so uh, shall I stop recording now? Sure, yes. <laughs>